Hi, the name is Rich. Today we're going to learn how to multiply numbers that are close to base 10. And we're also going to learn how to multiply any number by 11. And this is how we do it. Let's say, supposedly, we have, we have for problem number 1. Let's say we have a number like 13 times... 12. Let's see, I'll give you five seconds and then you trying to do this and then see what you come up with. Okay, five seconds is up. If you come up with 156, then your answer is correct. And how we do this type of problem? First, what we're going to do, we're going to add. First we add unto 13, then we're going to multiply the last two numbers. And this is how you can mentally do this by just looking and saying, okay, alright, I have 2, I add 2 unto 13, it will give me 15. And when I multiply those two numbers, it will give me 6, and here's your answer. We're going to do another one and then see how you're picking up on, on the smart way of multiplying two numbers that are close to base 10. Now let's try 13 times 13 and see what you come up with. Now let's do this again. We're going to add 3 unto 13. Then, we're going to multiply the last two number. Add 3 unto 13, it's going to give you 16. And then you're going to multiply those two numbers, it's going to give you 9. Now, in the future, we're just doing this, but once you know the technique on doing that, you won't need um, to go through the process of writing things down. Now let's do something that's a little bit different. Now you're going to have to carry one over. You're going to see how that works. And that's just slightly different from what, from those, the first two. Now if we have, let's say, 16 times 13, see how we're going to do this. Now, when we add 3 unto we're going to add 3 unto 16. Then we're going to multiply. Add 3 unto 16 is going to give us 19. And then we're going to multiply the last two. It's going to give us 18. Now multiply those two. It's going to give you 18. So you will have 1 here and then an 8 in the back of the 9. So, once you give the final answer, the final answer to this is going to be 8. 1 plus 10 is going to give you, uh, 1 plus 9 is going to give you 10, give you 0. Carrying the 1 over is going to give you 208. And 208 will be the answer that you have. And that's carrying, that's carrying the 1 over. Alright, let's do another one. Let's do, um, let's do 4. And let's do another one that we'll have to carry over. Let's do 17, 17 times um, 18. Let's try that. Now, again, we're going to do this. If we do this, we're supposed to get 8. We're adding 8 onto 17. And then we're going to do multiply the last two. So if I add 8 onto 17, it's going to give me 25. Now when I do this, 7 times 8 is going to give me 56. Remember, you got to carry the 5. If I put the 5 on top of the 25, it's going to give me 30. 
Then the six, I'm going to put it down, so it's going to give me 306. So it's a concept of way of thinking that's going to allow you to just crunch those numbers without having to write anything down. So we're going to do 8 plus 17 is going to give us 25. And now we're going to do 7 times 8, it's going to give us 56. And that's your answer. So the final answer will be 6, 5, and 5 is going to give you 0. Carry the one over, it's going to give you 306, and that will be your, your answer for as far as mentally, mentally, mentally multiply uh, numbers that are close to base 10. Now, we're going we're gonna to go to the next set of problems, and that's going to be multiplying any number by 11. And I will show you how to do that. And the more you practice that, It'll be easier for you to mentally multiply those numbers without any problem. Now let's start with the first problem. And now this is this part of the problem. Now we're going to multiply any number by 11. You're going to see how we're going to do this. Now if I have, let's say, if I have uh, 21, 21, 43, um, 2. And we're multiplying this by 11. Say if I give you five seconds and try to do this and see how, what answer you're going to come up with. Now, what we're going to do, if you come up with two, three, five, seven, five, and two, it's correct. All I had to do is just, I had to look at, use the method that I use, the shorter way method, and to come up with this number. Now what you're going to do, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to bring down the first number, bring down the last number, and then you're going to add anything that in between. So you're going to add 2 under 3, it's going to give you 3. 1 unto 4, that's going to give you 5. 4 unto 7, it's going to give, 4 unto 3, it's going to give you 7. And 3 unto 2, and it's going to give you 5. And that's how we come up with the, with the answer. Now let's do another one. Let's say we have number like, Two, four, seven, one, six. Multiply this by eleven. Again, we're gonna go through the same steps. We'll say, oh, okay. We'll have two. We want to add the first number onto this. It's gonna give us six. Four plus seven. That give us eleven. We're gonna put one here and another one right here. That's a little bit different and this is how you would do it. If you can carry the one over in your head then you can mentally multiply any number by 11. The next number is 7 add on to 1 it's going to give us 8. 1 add on to 6 it's going to give us 7. And then again don't forget to put the last number which is 6. When you write the final answer you can say 2, 7, 1, 8, 7, 6. And that will be your final answer. So we'll have 2, 7, 1, 8, 7, 6. Okay. And let's do one last one. And then you will see how that works. Let's say if I have 2, 6, 1, 8, 7, 6 multiplied by down the row. Let's write, let's say we have 3, 5, 6, 3, multiplied by 11. Now we're going to do this. We're going to have 3, 3. Now we're going to try to do this without even, we're going to, we'll have 3. That's going to give us 8. It's going to give us 11. Now if I put 1 and 1 here, we're going to have to change this 8 to 9. So we're going to have 9, 1. Okay. 
Now we're going to add this number onto this. It's going to give us 9. And don't forget to put down the 3. And that's how you can mentally work this without even having to do um, the work down. You just write the answer. And so this is what we're going to do for now. And then later on we're going to we're going to do square of numbers. When we square numbers, you're going to see how you can a shorter way to uh, square them. And then also multiplying numbers by that are close to 100. So I hope this sort of like help out with uh, process of multiplication, any number by 11, or multiply any number that close to base 10. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.